to coming to the University of Birmingham, I was a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Oxford working in the Department of Clinical Biochemistry and there I worked on diabetes research and in particular what controls the release of insulin. When I came to Birmingham I then became more interested in immunology. So most of my research now is uh, concerned with um, what happens to your immune system as you get older. So what we're really interested in is why so many diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and cancer are age related. If all of these are caused by aging, why not try to understand the aging process better in order to tackle all of those conditions? So that's really what my research is about. Most recently we've been very interested in why older people are more susceptible to infections such as hospital superbugs like C. difficile or MRSA. And the main immune cell that tackles these infections is called the neutrophil. And what we've discovered is that as you get older, your neutrophils basically don't move correctly towards the infection. I always say they look like they've lost their sat-nav, so their directional control is completely gone. And this is disastrous if you're trying to get the immune cell to the infection as quickly as you can. And what we've discovered is not only that that happens, but we've also discovered why it happens. And that has helped us to really use um, new drugs to try to correct that defect. So what we're doing now is um, working with doctors here um, at the university to give this drug to older people who've got pneumonia to hopefully help them tackle the disease much more effectively. We feel that our ageing research is really important for society. We know that we're an ageing society. So currently 16% of the population in the UK are over 65 but by the year 2035 that's predicted to be one in four and as we get older we know as our research has shown that your immune system doesn't work as well so it means you're more prone to infections you're also more prone to cancers and to conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis so our real hope is that our uh, research will all lead to improved health in old age we want to make sure that old age is enjoyed and not endured for my greatest achievement to date, I think I'll actually cite two. So as I'm very interested in making sure that we get discoveries at the bench right through to the patient as quickly as we can, I would probably list number one as my first drug that came to clinic um, last year. So in the early stages of my career, I was very interested in cancers and um, I discovered that there was um, a particular molecule called protein kinase C delta that was important in inducing um, cells to kill themselves and um, I worked with an Australian company to discover a compound that would cause cells to do this and this came to market last year for the treatment of a, a pre-skin cancer condition so I would definitely cast that as my highlight and I think the second one really is my work on ageing so I think that's also going to have a great impact improving health in older adults and particularly helping them to fight conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and um, disastrous infections such as pneumonia and I've already been recognised for that so I was lucky enough to receive the Lord Cohen Medal from the British Society for Research on Ageing and this year was awarded the Glen, Glen Foundation Medal um, for contributions to ageing research. It's really important to me that we ensure that the next generation of researchers are enthused about what we do here at the university and in my School of Immunity Infection. So for me, teaching is important and working with um, undergraduate and postgraduate students. My aspirations for the future are really to ensure that the research that we do at Birmingham and in my school really translates into making an impact for society and in particular, of course, for health. And with my current interest in ageing, I really want to ensure that more older people reach old age in good health and stay in good health for as long as possible. Thank you.